Hey everybody, Carbon Suits with you. Welcome. We're gonna do the 18, 19, 10 box hoops number three. Uh, right now, it's going over this way. Well, you gotta have the PSA sticker on it. I mean, otherwise it's just it's just fake. Is he turning into a grumpy old man, Chris Fitz? Because I might be uh, years ahead of him on, on, on grumpy old man attitude. Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, five, ten. All right, let's see. Okay, fair, fair enough, Chris Fitz. Fair enough. Although, I mean, our male guy is, like, pretty, like, pretty chill. I mean, I don't know for a fact, but, like, I, I mean, I have to think that he, that he smokes a lot of weed. But he's an older dude. I mean, like, I'm not, you know, he, he doesn't look like a stoner, but, I mean, to stay as chill as he does, I figure he must. Marcus, how is your weekend treating you so far? You know what I should have done? I should have brought my just I should have brought my Xbox here and it's and installed it here because because we got stupid good internet. I could have gotten, gotten like all the updates and stuff uh, stuff like easy stuff. Yeah, Dave, uh, well, I mean, Gelfman hooks Dave up at Christmas. Like, he gets nice stuff. I mean, because Dave, I mean, Dave is awesome to us. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, listen, aren't all managers shitty people? And I say this as, like, a pseudo-manager. I had to drop the hammer on some, on some on some folks, you know, a couple of days ago. <clears throat> Were they as nice to me when I came in? Uh, when I actually when I saw them the next time? No, they were not. I got I got I got bosses too. A lot of the hoops I've seen has looked nice. Solid, kind of low numbered uh, autograph deals. Not as. Four spot filler. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say no. Maybe we can try. Mark, I think I should work it again. What kind of BS is that? Well, I mean, for that, Chris Vince, I can I can definitely try. I mean, if we're gonna go three, 
three breaks deep, 34 might not be unreasonable. Get, get some, you know, some potential cross interest in some things. I mean, hopefully by the time I finish this, you know, it'll be closer down to like a, uh, you know, like a 20, uh, 22 spot uh, deal, maybe. I think there's Bowman Tech and Illusions after this, so those two will go relatively quickly. But this is a, uh, a pack blaster. Archives is fun. I like archives, like the look of it and everything, but I do not like going through looking for uh, variations. Especially like there's like some cards that have like a like a, there's like a round circle around it. Ra ra, ra ra, you got a new uh, a new little something by your name. How, how, how you do that? No, Chris Fitz, I'm, I mean, legit, like, surprise. I mean, Gelf and I went through a bunch of uh, Jesse's breaks. I mean, there was a lot of, like, rookies to 25. I mean, some of the, you know, the vet autos were your normal, you know, normal trash. But, I mean, a, a lot of the rookie stuff looked nice and actually some decent rookies in it. Like, I, I was very impressed with what I saw. Oh, you know, they, they probably put, like, six. Six Luga autos in the in this thing. Ra ra, how are you doing? Well, I'm gonna show you uh, show you how it's done and pull a Luca for you some point tonight. I mean, either this one or in uh, number six. You know what? I hate to say, but I, I, I gotta talk to Jesse, but I don't think we've gotten a whole lot of hate mail uh, about the way we're doing vet base for uh, for hoops, it may have adversely affected the uh, sale price. Though that is a that is a possibility. Or nobody likes hoops. One of the, one of the two. Either nobody likes hoops, or my base policy has uh, people have just said to hell with you. I'm gonna get it elsewhere. Archive store, I mean, not veteran base. I mean, I, I check for parallels and stuff like that, but I mean, rook, rookies inserts autos like, like, ev like everything else. Oh, Marcus, you don't want all this, all this kind of base. I mean, I personally go to the archives looking for the variations, and it's kind of a it, kind of a, a, a pain in the a this year. Like it used to be in years past, but you could look. There was like some like some little serial number down at the bottom of a uh, of the tops card would tell you if it was a if it was a variation or not. And this year, not so much. It'll tell you if it's a picture variation, of which there are like. 11 players that have picture variations, but the other variations, like the no auto, the uh, tops hook logo, and the uh, Venezuelan uh, gray back parallel, not marked off uh, number wise. So you got like a choice. You can either learn all the picture variations. And go through it just front wise, or go through it back wise, and then go through it front wise again.
should have done these as five boxers. Devers will be one of the best that has ever played the game. Chris Fitz, I'm a little bit surprised it's even downloading. Because when I went when I went to Best Buy to pick it up. Like I went to like the customer pickup, you know, spot at Best Buy, and they've got like the little, you know, bucket kind of like cage, you know, like you know, like wire buckets, like you know, with like letters on the names, like to make it easier to pick up. Every single letter of a bucket had a copy of Red Dead Redemption Two. Right? Every single one. Every single one. The fact that their servers can even handle the download is, is impressing me slightly. Chase, how you doing today? Nice. Yeah, they they bought me the uh, the deluxe edition for my birthday. I don't I don't know what uh, what exactly makes it deluxe though. I haven't looked at that yet. I think I get a full size map that I can lay out on the on the table while I ride around the horse. One one question I do have, Chris Fitz, though, is I heard. They're like if you don't use like the HUD, like the mini map thing, that the, 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 the NPCs will tell you like stuff to like tell you like where you're going. But like oh you know you gotta go to you know uh, yeah, like, the, like the crooked tree uh, you know and you know and turn right kind of deal. You gonna go that hardcore or you gonna leave like HUD you know like ha have HUD up. I don't, I don't know what the deluxe edition gets me. I'll find out when I... It's in my car. Yeah, I don't think I want to make... I, I don't want to make a game that's already going to take me 90 hours to finish. Uh, that much harder. We got uh, four more. I'm getting there. And then it will be nothing but a show fest. Got another half case of this in the store if anybody's interested. Got the uh, flawless baseball full case PYT in the store as well as a uh, single box hit random. Get some guaranteed uh, hittery in that. Probably the roof knob for 125 bucks. Uh, Prism in the store. Got like six uh, full cases of that. So couple four box random team deals that uh, I'm trying to uh, I was going to plan on using like more more for uh, filler spots but uh, has, has had some uh, relative uh, interest mm, otherwise got two more uh, eBay breaks after this pretty short ones uh, Bowman Tech and uh, Illusion Football so that'll go like pretty easily Yeah, rah rah. Answer, Chris Fitz. Is are are Devers rookies at at the high, or is he going to be better? Rah rah, probably sort, sorting some uh, new 
new thing he bought or something. Not not paying not paying attention to me. Right, right. Do you know who has uh, autographs and archives that I thought was uh, was interesting? Rico Petroselli. He's got archives autos. Oh snap! Rara driving. Okay, never mind, Rara. Put put the phone down. Get get back to your deal. Yeah, I mean Will Clark. I mean because he is one of the be one of the better players ever. He should be in five star. Be in, in six star even. Rara, just put 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 the phone down. You you can tell me in ten minutes wh why you you know what what the problem was. I I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I'm more worried about you crashing into a deer or something. I have I don't even know what the online is. I'm 97% sure that I will never play it. Uh, but I don't even know what it is. A death match where I, where I get killed over and over and over and over and over. Probably. Fort, Fortnite, but in... in no. I never play GTA Online. So it's going to be like a thousand modded up people uh, just running around the wilderness looking to shoot me. Alright, well, I gotta look and see what GTA Online is now. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not good at that. That's why I like single player games. Hey Greg, how are you doing? Good to see you. I hope so, Chris Fitz. I hope so, because I am uh, the only other game that I've like that I'm well when uh, I got Smash Brothers coming out in December that I'm like excited about. But Smash is like gonna be a you know an easy pick up and play, you know, kind of kind of deal. But beyond that, like uh, Cyberpunk 2077 is like the next the next game that I that I know for a fact that I will have after Red Dead 2. Ah, Big Greg chilling as as always. Big Greg, open up some Prism. And before this uh, breaky break here, and uh, it's nice. You know, it's gonna be impossible to get like the prism silvers. Impossible. Yeah, see, I I am terrible at uh, at racing games, so I, so I don't even look at those. I mean, I'm, a li I'm mildly interested in Soul Calibur, but I don't even know when that comes out and if it's even on the Xbox. Not that I'm good at it, but I like that. I had a good time playing, playing it back in the day. Cyberpunk looks amazing. 
No, I mean, it's, it's it's my kind of game. A Fallout, a Skyrim. Oh, the new Skyrim, whenever that comes out. When new Skyrim comes out, I will take vacation time. Like, legit, no joke. That game, uh, game defined my life for like six months. Okay, but I don't, but Skyrim's probably not coming out until like twenty nine, twenty uh, you know, twenty twenty five or something. <sighs> okay, Hang on one second. Okay. I haven't exactly seen this. So I'm going to need a couple of minutes to sort it out on the Scala T199. I wonder if the rookies are all the same same backdrop. Probably not. Oh, the Giannis 2018. Forgot about those cards. Uh, <clears throat> Justin Holiday. Purple? Mm -hmm. okay, the Browns 20 or to 999 actually. Congratulations on that. Since this is uh, right here, Tobias Harris flipped around for an NBA City card. Good times, good times, good times, good times. Uh, how about a Kobe order? A, a Kobe to twenty-five. Kobe to 25 to start. I mean, you know, if, if you if you like Kobe Bryant autographs, then you know, then there you go. The Kobe and the Luca in one case is gonna be is gonna be exciting. I think. For me at least. Oh, they went. Okay, remember how the wishful thinking last year how much I enjoyed that now it's arc eologist because of the arc of the basketball I love it I love it hoops you you continue to impress a hey, Javon Carter uh, rookie Inc Flipped around portion still bothers me. A PJ Tucker to uh, 99 for the Rockets.
Okay. This is uh, especially fun for the room, I have I have noticed. That, uh, anytime we open hoops, I mean, it just becomes, you know, just people wanting to talk and talk and talk and talk. It rose into 2018. I mean, it's sometimes distracting, you know, while trying to, you know, trying to break. But, you know, at the same time, you, you know, you just got to, you got to accept what you got to accept. You know what I'm saying? Big Greg, Prism is nothing but rookie autos. No vets. No vets at all. There are vet silvers <clears throat> in it, but no vet autos. Dude, the lights are going out in this place. And I lost two lights. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Two light bulbs just went out. Clay Thompson to uh, $199. So what's been going on with the NBA season? Trey Young autograph. If I am not mistaken, he was what, like a number five pick in the draft, something like something along those lines. Again, Trey Young, niceness. You thought right, Big Greg. You thought right. A uh, Ray for Alston. Hot Sigs. For the Rockets. I have not seen any of any of the uh, NBA season so far. Odds are pretty high that I will watch near zero games unless my uh, father in law is over at the house and uh, interested. Then I would, I would watch him with him, just, you know, because I like him. But, uh, otherwise, yeah. NBA, I don't care. Aldridge to 2018. Ra-Ra is home now. Rara, the question was how Raphael Devers is he at a ceiling or is he going to uh, get better? Embiid, twenty eighteen. All right, then Chris Fitz has a card that he wants to sell you, Chris, or uh, Ra Ra. But he's with Boston. All big market, all players that get better in big market teams go up in value, don't they? Uh, Bogdan at two ninety nine. That Who pulled the stop up? 
Oh, Chris Fitz wants to sell it bad, Ra Ra. He's looking to get top dollar though. He, he ain't taking no chump offers on it. Is what is what I'm hearing from him. A Michael Porter Jr. Rookie Inc. Uh, number what, what was he like? Number fourteen, I think. Fourteen pick in the draft, something like that. So we got two top halves of uh, draft type businesses, which is all, always nice, always fun. A Jeremy Lamb to one ninety nine. LeBronda to uh, 2018. How are the Lakers doing with LeBron? I haven't, re haven't really seen. Are they lighting things up undefeated? A Sam Perkins autograph. Booyah, Kasha. No, Ra Ra, I'm bullshitting you. He, he, uh, he is not looking to sell. He's just, he likes a car curious, more curious about uh, uh, Deaver's value than anything. Or potential value. If he's, if he's going to be able to retire on it. LeBron's just getting warmed up. Right? It's not that the Lakers suck. To 99, P.J. Tucker. I don't know, though. I, dis I dislike the Lakers so much that I would not be, like, terribly upset if LeBron completely failed there. As much as I as much as much I like LeBron. LeBron. Ben Simmons to 999. That's a good one. I mean, I, I figure you got like, I don't know, six, eight months to get that done. Amir Johnson to 199. I mean, so don't sweat it too much. I mean, you got, you got to put a little bit of priority on it, but you, 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 you got a good, a, a good, a good six, seven months. A Jalen Brunson. Good old Jail Brun. Huge fan. Uh, plays for the uh, Maz Mavitaz. Beasley to 99. Sweet mother of mercy, this is uh, Paul to uh, 2018.
Is Mo Bamba going to be good, or do I just like his name? Because I feel like I need Mo Bamba in my life for some reason. Uh, Marshawn Brooks at 199. A Brad Daughtry. Cavs to 25. Booyah. Biden Gold, how are you doing today? Bradley Beal to 2018. Surge to one ninety nine. Okay. Let me go ahead and just get a little bit of this out of the way real quick. That's going to make things ever so slightly easier. I might as well move rookies over here. Inserts over here. I'll leave the numbers where they are. That's fine. And I'll we'll start the next bunch. Troy Brown Jr. Good old Troy Brown Jr. Fifteenth pick, I believe, in the draft. If I'm not, if I am not mistaken, some somewhere in there, in abouts. Boy, nobody wants to talk to me while I'm doing this. The one thing, the one time that I need Mitchell to 2018, uh, somebody help help a Rolo out and actually uh, keep my mind sane. Black and Gold, why do you even still bother to do business with us? I'm legit curious. Uh, Jackson at 199. I 
thought I'd, I thought I'd done all the, done, gone through all the emails. I actually spent an entire day, like literally one entire day working on that. Ron Mercer. But I will look. I will check again. I will see if Jesse made some note about it that I did not see. I didn't see it on the on our shared list of situations. Uh, what is this? XR7? You know what? I actually might know about that. That Jesse might have put you in as black and gold instead of your name and shipping might not have sent it in uh, any reasonable time. I asked like why you even like do business with us. Yeah, that yeah, I mean cuz I mean we have we've done a I mean a fair I mean a, a pretty solid bit of uh of messing up messing up your stuff. I mean it's unintentional. But for some reason we have just done a spot on job of getting your stuff to you late and doing a shit job of it even at that. I don't like it. I, don't, I mean I don't like it at all. I'm not you know, not happy about it. Uh, Demo, I gotta finish this one. I gotta finish a tech after that, and then Illusions is the last one. So you, you got another hour probably. Then videos will uh, will be put up. Uh, Build 2018. We just had two like just massive card count breaks that I'm going through with as much efficiency as I can, but it's just take it's just taking a little bit. A Javon Carter rookie hot signatures. Everybody's a Javon Carter fan. I know they are. I know, I know they are. I know black and gold. That's what I'm saying. Like, I again, it's it's not intentional. I don't know why. Sometimes it just seems like there is like one person that just gets like tagged over and over. I'm gonna consider it to like a, like you know, like on a hit streak. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you back on a hit streak. That's what that's what, that's what I'm gonna do. That's the only thing I can do. I'm gonna check some shipment for the. Uh, for that, I seriously think that might have been like a wrong name kind of thing on the on the deal. Problem to be fixed. Michael, how are you doing today? Pass to one ninety nine. LeBron to twenty eighteen. Oof. Ryan, how are you doing today? Yeah, my 401k is uh, actually exactly the same as it was yesterday uh, at zero. Unless you count uh, questionable uh, Buccaneer uh, football cards as a, as a retirement value option, then it's still the same, but it's but it's above zero. Carl Anthony Towns. 
Ryan, awesome, welcome. Uh, I got I got to finish hoops, which is hoops and prism. It was uh, Beverly ninety nine idiotic of me to uh, put them on the same day, but I did it anyway, and uh, I'm paying for it currently. So it's, uh, tech is right after this one. Chris Paul to four ninety nine. It's just uh, there's a lot of cards, but uh, I will I will get there with some with some quickness. Hoops doesn't mess around. Hoops does not mess around. Rodionis? I don't do. I, I don't know him. I don't know him. The more more of a football basketball guy. Well, black and gold, I mean that. I mean I I will take that at least if we if we do manage to uh screw anything up for you, we do usually make it right. Uh, Richardson to ninety nine. But I mean hoops has been like pretty strong this year. Like surprisingly nice as compared to past years. As far as like auto content goes, Dion Waiters to one ninety nine. Chris Paul to nine ninety nine. There's been some some solid. The the breaks are a thousand percent brutal, Michael. Yes. Uh, Marquise, uh, Marcus Morris to 199. I should only put them on Jesse's days, really. Oscar Robertson for the Bucks autograph. No, 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 no. You get nothing but hobby. The thousand cards in a in a box hobby. That's it. You get nothing else. Yeah, dude. I mean, if they if they did hoops as like HTA, like a Bowman style HTA or something, nobody would buy. Uh, nobody would buy a hobby. Twenty eighteen uh, Russell Westbrook. I mean, and I feel like I'm moving through this as about as quickly as one reasonably can without being like, you know, without just, th you know, throwing stuff all over the place. And I, uh, Marcus Aldridge 2018, I kind of have to like pre-sort a little bit. As I go through, like it's just, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not nice to not try and like take the extra split second to put stuff in a pile that it should go in. But Prism, we opened a half case of Prism football today. Very nice, very nice stuff. The Prism Silvers are only one per box. You only get one in a box. So it is, I guess, technically harder to hit a Silver than it is to hit an Auto. So that makes it nice. I mean, the one thing that's like, I mean, it's... It, I'm okay with it. It's nothing but rookie autos. Like, there's no no vet autos in it. But you know, I mean, why, why do you want you know some stinky uh, you know veteran autograph? You know when you can get like pure rookie hotness. Like a full case of that in the store, waiting to be a uh, crack a lact. Put a uh, flawless baseball. There's a PYT and a uh, hit random in the store. Kevin McHale for the Celtics. Not a bad autograph at all. 
Not a bad autograph at all. Uh, Trey Young to uh, 99. That's a, I mean, that's, eh, that's, that's, mm, that's sleeveable. That's a good card. Up and down business. Uh, Al Horford to 2018. Is enough to drive a sane person insane. Ryan, do you, you still have a uh, 90 hoops, Derek Coleman? Or was the desire to sell it just too, too strong? I mean, because one day, you know, your, your grandkids, probably your great-grandkids, great like, Grandpa, tell me that story again about you opening 2018-19 hoops. And you're like, right, you want to hear it again? Yes, Grandpa. Yes, Great Grandpa. I want to hear it again. And you'll have to tell him again about how you, uh, you know, pulled out Mikhail Bridges. Uh, you know, base rookie that's, you know, worth $17 million uh, in, in, future, in future dollars. You know, yeah, it was, uh, it was that, 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 that weirdo Carbo Jesus that uh, did it for me. I tried to thank him, but he would take, he would take no thanks. But you still have it, Ryan? <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Rondo to $9.99. Is there any team in the NBA that Rajon Rondo has not started a fight with? Does, any, does anybody, ha anybody have that have those numbers in their head? I'm curious. A George King. A rookie autograph for the Suns. I would think that the ants would probably be like close to no. He does like to fight, man. I mean, he like to he like to throw down. And listen, I guess you know he finished all his uh, all his chewing gum, and you know he, he came to play ball, chew gum, and uh, and fight. And again, he ran out of gum and ran out of ball. We're getting close, folks. We're getting close. The, my perpetual grind has uh, has helped us out here. Going through it strong. Try to go through it quickly. It's been uh, a Jonathan Simmons in '99. We only got two more boxes to go. I'm about two. About a third of the way through this box, rosier to uh, 2018, then we go straight to tech. Clean it up and straight to tech. Then illusions, then it is ripcitycards.com all night long. Prism, flawless, hoops, archives, it's all in there. Ron Artest to me, like, is. I would, I would, I would start a fight with Rondo before I would start a fight with Artest. I feel like Artest would be willing to bite me 
if you know when when things got serious when he when he realized that he had tussled with the wrong with the wrong character that he would bite Rondo I, I, don't, I don't think he would but yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight our test I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight Rondo before our test the Rose into 2018. Antoine Jameson was another one that uh, that liked to fight. Uh, Steph Curry to two uh, nine ninety nine. I don't know basketball players and uh, and baseball players for some reason. Like it's right now, baseball players to me are just like are whiny about it. You know, like you pitchers throw inside. Like you know, that, I don't know. That's just like silly. I mean, basketball is a, a physical game. Like you, you know, you're gonna get, you know, throw a punch at a ref for not not calling a, a proper foul if you're gonna if you're gonna throw a punch at anybody. Wouldn't that make the game exciting? If there's no refs left because Rondo's punched them all out for missing calls. Hot signatures for Ed Pinkney. I don't know. Wallace always seemed mad to me. Ryan, he always seemed mad. I've never seen a picture of him where he did not look, like, pissed. Dylan Brooks at 199. And Ellie Okobo, Rookie Inc. Not hyper familiar, but it's Suns. I don't know. I mean, you know, used used to be that you had like, you know, like the Bill Lambeers of the game. And I hate Bill Lambeer. He's a dirty player. But I mean used to, used to have like those, you know, those guys that would put the heavy foul down on somebody going, you know, going to the hoop. Nobody goes to the hoop. <clears throat> Anymore. Because all threes. Uh, Jerome Robinson, 199. I don't follow enough basketball to care. Really. When the Heat finally get good and back to the finals, then I'll watch again. This guy for the Lakers. God. Demo in what sport? Demo in what sport? That's an, that is an excellent question. But I think it depends on what sport. Well, like football, I'd rather have a very good player for 15 years. Basketball, as the way like players move around, I'd rather have an elite for five. Because, I mean, if he's elite, elite, my team can grab another, you know, whole bunch of guys who just want to win, just want to win a ring. And, uh,. Then go about it that way. Bat, baseball, eh, probably more. Probably, eh. Well, baseball for me personally, I would rather be 15 years because that would turn into like 6.2 billion dollars in uh, in contract money. The elite, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna agree. Elite in basketball, I think good in football. Soccer, I don't know. Rugby, I'm going to say elite too. Um, 
curling a hundred percent elite because i mean you you know how the curling game is man i mean those people are crazy you know like if you don't if you don't get in if you don't get in on curling like quick man they, they will just you know they, they just do it to you so a De'Aaron Fox hoop sink for the Kings, but that is an excellent question. Excellent question. John Waller, 2018. I love stuff to make you think. You know? To make you wonder. Alright, last stack. I mean, five years. Five years, Demo. That is, I mean, for football, that is kind of a long time. So, I... I don't know. See, I mean, like, I... You know, I see. I don't know. I think it's somebody like like a Joe Thomas or something. That was like a, like an insanely good player for like fifteen years, but then what? You know, what did it get him? You know, jack and crap. As far as like t you know titles went, Clay Thompson twenty eighteen. So you know, I don't know. I mean. You know, maybe burn it fast. They uh, have zoned you to 25. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, and see, Ryan changes the dynamic uh, here as well. Yeah. If you're talking about, like, a defensive tackle or a uh, right guard, you know, I think you definitely take the, the very good player for 15 years. Tobias Harris, but, you know, quarterback... You, you, and you'd rather you'd rather have the elite. It's I'm not, it's I mean it's an inter it's an interesting thing to just bat around. With, I mean to you know think about the possibilities. Okay, that is what she looked like. Let's uh, look at autographs. We got a De'Aaron Fox who was a good player. We've got this guy for the Lakers that I'm going to have to watch a YouTube video to uh, figure out how to pronounce his name in the future. And a Kobo, and I'm just guessing is right. A Pinkney for the Celtics. A George King for the Suns. A McHale for the uh, Celtics. Nice card. Oscar Robinson for the Bucks. Good card. Crooks. Red Redonis. I'm going to have to look that one up too for the Nets. Carl Anthony Towns, he played good ball. Javon Carter, some potential hotness there. Ron Mercer, interesting one for the Bulls. Troy Brown Jr., I mean, top half of the draft, so potential there. The Daughtry to 25, fancies for the Cavs. Brunson, Sam Perkins, Michael Porter Jr., decent card. River Alston, interesting card. Trey Young, a nice one, top five pick. Javon Carter, nice card. And a uh, Kobe, 225. Uh, I'm going to throw the Kobe into a, uh, into a protective Kobe. All right. Thank you, everybody. We'll get this right out to you.